All right, you guys, this is Ross. We're in the middle of June here in the Philadelphia area. And my Girardi Dwarf Mulberry is ripening. Shout out to Phil uh, for the cyan wood. We got myself a pretty nice tree here. So Girardi is a, really one of the very few true dwarf mulberries. And uh, the reason for that is because it's just so darn productive. So it's not only is it dwarf, but it puts out a ton of fruit for the size of the plant. And uh, it's really all that fruit. You know, I've seen photos of uh, of other people's Girardi mulberries, and it really is the amount of fruit that the that the plant produces that slows down that vigor. So, at a young size and a young age like this, it's going to keep growing and probably grow a lot more than you might expects but as it starts to mature and as it has a lot of different uh, branches with a lot of fruit on it the growth is going to considerably slow down but it's already you can kind of tell this is its second year from being grafted onto a, a seedling that that popped up um, that it's really quite dwarf i mean i've had an illinois everbearing tree that i had years ago in only three years it reached 20 feet tall and if you just don't have the room or the pruning techniques or the training techniques to handle a mulberry of that size or a tree of that size, you're going to kind of regret it. But people want to enjoy mulberries, right? Why not have the ability to grow something like a blueberry that only gets to maybe six by six or is easily maintained at six by six? You could have the same exact thing with this particular mulberry, which is why I think it's so special. Now it's not necessarily the flavor, although here is a, a berry here that's quite ripe, very anxious to eat it. Although the flavor is not top tier maybe, um, it does produce a really high quality berry. It's not maybe a Morris Niagara, but let's try it. It's got really good mulberry flavor and tastes, in my opinion, just like an Illinois Everberry. So it's, you know, maybe about average or above average in fruit quality, but it doesn't grow to a crazy size. So that's kind of my little uh, interpretation of this particular variety. I've gone to actually pretty good lengths to try to propagate more of these because I love mulberries. I even uh, grafted some scion here onto this particular seedling and it took, but the deer actually topped it or something topped it. And if you look down here at the, the base of the bottom of this plant, I know it's really tough to see. There's a lot of fruits in there. Um, I've picked quite a bit. Some of them have already started to fall off the bush. Maybe the size of the fruits is not insanely big. But that's a pretty average standard mulberry that you would find. But it comes in such a small, compact size. Um, so. You know, that's kind of, as I stuff my face with mulberries, that's kind of the Girardi uh, Dwarf Mulberry. And I highly recommend you guys try to find this one. Grow it in your yard. I know quite a few people that really have these mulberries that top out at about something like that. You know, that's only about four and a half by four and a half. I'm sure this mulberry will get to like six by six. That's really easy to maintain and net and pick all the fruits without a ladder. Kids love it. Uh, so what else is there to say? Thanks for watching. Check out some of the other videos we've done on mulberries or other berry plants that we grow here in my Philadelphia climate. We'll see you soon. Take care.